Hey, hey, hey. Now, Xenosaga 2 is a very divisive game, and it is the black sheep of the Xenosaga series. You almost never see anyone praising Xenosaga 2 for anything really, other than the character relations, but that's really about it. And you will probably never come across anyone else ever who is going to actively persuade you to try and play this game. Everyone will try to dissuade you from playing this game, but here I want to persuade you to play it and give you reasons why you should play Xenosaga 2. As it's not as bad as everyone likes to say it is. And I should know firsthand, all right? I am probably like the biggest Xenosaga 2 defender. I have barely seen anyone like Xenosaga 2 as much as I do. So I feel like I can give a pretty good case as to why you should play this game. Although some of the criticisms about Xenosaga 2 are fair, such as the character models not looking too great, shops have been removed from the game which is pretty disappointing and the characters every character has the exact same skill tree so there's not really room for much diversity and choosing which party member you want on a team doesn't even really matter because you can just pick favorites and it'll work for anything but as much as there is wrong with xenosaga 2 i feel like Xenosaga 2 is one of the strongest games in the series and right now it's probably my favorite. I have yet to beat Saga 3, I'm very close to the end, but I'm liking Xenosaga 3 a little bit more than 2, but not by much. That should just show how much I actually enjoy Xenosaga 2, which is very strange, okay? With everything you've heard about this game, why do I like it so much? Well, there's plenty of reasons why Xenosaga 2, I think, is a pretty great game. Alright, a lot of what makes Saga 2, Saga 2, suffered from a brand new development team. Alright, Takahashi decided to take a step back and let all of like the new employees take on uh, Saga 2 and work with that and create Xenosaga 2. So, these are less experienced developers than the original team that made Xenosaga 1 so yes of course it's going to be a lot different and to most people it's going to be worse but Xenosaga 2 has a lot of merits to it as well okay that I think are very very nice and there are a lot of people out there who would rather just watch all of the cutscenes just skip the game and watch all the cutscenes and just experience the game through there but I never really understood that as you get a deeper understanding of the game itself as well as the story just by playing the game itself because then you can see how you got from one story part to the next like how you got from one area to the next how this story beat um impacts the next one and just everything in between i feel like those small in between gameplay segments between cutscenes are just as important as the cutscenes themselves but I mean, everyone does everything differently. I just think it's better to play the game as you get a better understanding of the story as well as the game itself and maybe have a newfound appreciation to it because I'm not gonna lie, I was also thinking about skipping Xenosaga 2 and just going straight to 3, but I am so glad that I did not because I really do like this game a lot. Now, speaking of the story, I feel like the overall saga story is some of the strongest parts are in Xenosaga 2, especially with uh, Rubido. He's basically the main focus of Xenosaga 2, and he's one of my favorite characters, so that already makes me enjoy it a bit more. But it really goes in depth between like the character to character interactions, and it feels a lot more personal. It focuses more on the characters than the overarching story. We get to learn more about the tumultuous relationship between Rubido and Albedo and the burden and turmoil Rubido has to carry about abandoning his brother and basically causing him to be the way he is. And then by the end of the game when Rubido and Albedo finally, finally reconcile, it's such a bittersweet moment. It's great. I think it's amazing. We also get to learn more about Rubido's 
relationship with Sakura and the whole story about Sakura and how Momo came to be and how Rubido is tied to Momo because Momo was created in the image of Sakura. I'm not going to get too into the details there, but I feel like the story alone is enough to where you should play the game and figure it out. A lot of the best story moments in all of Xenosaga are happening in Xenosaga 2. We also get to learn more about Ormus and their goal as well as Margulis. We get to learn more about his character, which I've come to appreciate Margulis a lot more. During Xenosaga 1, I didn't really have an opinion on him, but Xenosaga 2 really cemented him as a, a, a very well written character and a very likable character even though he's an antagonist there's just so many story beats in saga 2 that are important to the overall lore and saga 2 takes place immediately after xenosaga 1 so a lot of relevant stuff in xenosaga 1 a lot of stuff in xenosaga 1 is still relevant in xenosaga 2 so if you go straight from xenosaga 1 to 3 you're going to be kind of confused because xenosaga 3 takes place one year after xenosaga 2 and then a missing year takes place in between 2 and 3 it tells what happens between that missing year and you kind of need some xenosaga 2 knowledge to understand fully understand what's happening in missing year now like i said just the story alone is enough to where you should be playing xenosaga 2 and experiencing the story through the game and just like the in-between cutscene moments but there's a lot more to saga 2 than just the story probably my favorite feature about saga 2 is the combat itself now you may not have heard too much about the combat but there's not really anything i dislike about it except that it's very very slow saga 2 in general just suffers from being abysmally slow and i'm surprised i was even able to beat it and then replay it of all games i replayed xenosaga 2 before even replaying one and saga 2 feels a lot slower than one but that's not relevant right now the combat just the speed of it is about the only downside i have for it i think that xenosaga 2 has the most unique and engaging combat system in xenosaga out of the first three games i think saga 2's is the most engaging and unique now of course there's ways to cheese the combat just like in the other xenosaga games but saga 2 kind of requires you to think about what you're doing and not just oh spam strong attack all right every enemy in the game has different zones and these zones are basically weak points which and if you hit the correct zones you will be able to continue the combo for huge huge damage and you kind of have to remember each enemy zones until you fully figure out the zone then you can see it on their like status bar but every single enemy has different zones and then you can either do air air combos or ground combos and then every enemy also has a weakness uh, a certain elemental weakness and you can apply the corresponding sword they're called sword uh, like ice sword or thunder sword fire sword all they do is give your regular attacks the elemental damage of that type so you can further exploit the enemy and just i'm not going to get into the entire combat system and fully explain it that far as a video of its own but there are all of these different components to the Saga 2 combat system that really make it engaging. You have to think about what you're doing instead of mindlessly spam the strongest attack that you have. I mean, the turn wheel, uh, the orders, the slot wheel, I think. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called the slot wheel is back from Saga 1. So that also plays into it. So you actually have to plan out and strategize what you're going to do. Now, once you actually fully understand the combat and all of the weaknesses to the enemies, then it uh, becomes a bit easy. But it is very, very satisfying to pull off a huge combo, and it definitely gives you a massive dopamine hit. Now I can boost Cosmos here. Oh, so I can go CB cancel. 
C B B B B. Let's go. Okay, we got it. We out here. We out here. And then, oh, and on ether attack. I should have went Momo. I don't have ice sword on him. Momo with the crit turn. And I get crit, and I get boost turn here. So and we go in the back in the Momo. In the gin. Easy. Look at all that damage. He's not dead, but look at all that damage. He raises a shadow and he absorbs the. 8k heal. He has 8k health. Bro, that combo was so clean. Oh my god. I don't know how I figured that out. And all of this seems a bit ironic considering every character has the exact same skill trees so there's not really any diversity in them and you think it just get repetitive and boring but it's actually very engaging even with everyone still having the same skill trees you still have to pay attention to what you're doing you don't just mindlessly spam x buster although cosmos doesn't learn x buster in this game in xenosaga 1 if you set her up right she can just be an x buster spammer and you can just sweep the end game with it but for Xenosaga 2, even if you fully understand the combat system, you still have to pay attention to what you're doing with the zones, the weaknesses, you know, applying the swords, the slot wheel, everything. So you still have to actively pay attention to what you're doing, which I like. I like combat systems where you act, have to actively, you know, choose out what you're doing, plan what to do and actually pay attention. Don't just spam buttons. The Xenosaga 2 combat is very fun. It's definitely the one I have the most fun with. It feels the most engaging and it also has the biggest payoff because once you hit that big combo, it's so, so amazing. And one thing I don't see people crediting Xenosaga 2 enough for is its music. Now we all know Xenosaga 1 had like 12 songs, all right? There wasn't really any environmental music at all, except for like the danger theme. But other than that, there was a couple battle themes and some cutscene music, but that's really about it. Xenosaga 2, every area has its own song and there's been a lot, a lot of music and just overall great sound design added into Xenoblade 2 or Xenosaga 2 it actually has a soundtrack now. You know, it was composed by Yuki Kaijiuta and she did so well on Saga 2 that they brought her back for Saga 3. So a lot of people love her Saga 3 stuff and Saga 3 music, which I also do, but not too many of them know that she also composed, composed the music for Xeno Saga 2. So all the great music she made for 3, just listen to the songs she has in 2, they're amazing. I don't really see anyone talk about the Saga 2 music which was a massive improvement over Xenosaga 1. A lot of like memorable songs, at least for me, is from Xenosaga 2. There's just so many great things that I like about Xenosaga 2. But a lot of the criticism I do understand, while some of it doesn't really hold up too well. But overall, I think Xenosaga 2 is a very great game and everyone should play it i can understand why a lot of people are put off a big reason is those character models Shion and cosmos uh look kind of rough all right and it's just like the female models just look worse than the male models for some reason junior doesn't look too bad chaos is kind of creepy ziggy didn't really change at all but cosmos Shion, and momo yeah, they they kind of they kind of look rough, especially in some shots. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints about Xenosaga 2 except for how slow everything is and some of the character models. Other than that, I love Xenosaga 2. I love everything else about Xenosaga 2. Now, if the speed is an issue for you, I mean, you could emulate. I'm not a fan of emulation. But if people want to go out and emulate, they can do that. I personally just am not a fan 
of emulation. I'd much rather play on uh, original hardware with original software. But you could always just go on an emulator and speed up the game. That would help out a lot. But Xenosaga 2 overall is a pretty decent game, all things considered. So despite what you've been hearing on YouTube and Twitter, Xenosaga 2 really is not that bad. I used to be a big Time Saga 2 hater as well until I actually played it and realized, holy shit, this game is actually so fun. It's great. I love Xenosaga 2. And now here I am. I'm probably Xenosaga's two, Xenosaga 2's biggest defender, probably next to Banks. But I don't really see too many Xenosaga 2 fans. I've only met like one or two ever. All right. So, hey, the more fans Xenosaga 2 gets, the better. All right. I think it's an absolutely amazing game that you all should play. Now, that's really all I have to say for this video. I could just keep on going for hours about how much I like this game, but y'all don't want to hear all of that. I'm surprised y'all are watching this in the first place. But for those y'all who are still here, uh, I got a Xenosaga 2 challenge run I'm working on. I said that like months ago and it's still not out. I'm about halfway through it, okay? I should be able to get it done sometime within like the next couple months or so. But Xenosaga 2 challenge run is coming. I think I'm like the only person ever to upload a Saga 2 challenge run to YouTube or just the internet in general. But I will gladly, I will gladly be the first one to do anything when it comes to Saga 2, all right? I, I got some videos planned for the damn post game for Saga 2. We got a new dungeon, new super bosses. So I'm, I'm gonna make a video on all of that at some point. But I love Saga 2 a lot and hopefully y'all will as well. That's about it. See you next mission and play some goddamn Xenosaga 2.